This video is about the identity property. The identity property is made up of two parts, the additive identity and the multiplicative identity. We're going to begin with the additive identity, which deals with adding by zero and subtraction by zero. Here's our definition. So to find the additive identity, you add zero to a number and the sum is that number. Seven plus zero equals seven. To find the additive identity, subtract zero from a number, the difference is that number. Eight minus zero equals eight. That's how you find the additive identity. Now if you're dealing with multiplication, you need a different rule. Here we have five times zero. It does not give you the same number, it gives you zero. Six divided by zero is undefined because you cannot divide by zero. So we use the multiplicative identity. If you multiply a number by one, the product is that number. Here we have five times one equals five. If you divide a number by one, the quotient is that number. Here we have six divided by one is six, so that's the multiplicative identity. Now one more point to make. You can also see division as its forward slash, or as a ratio or a fraction. So as we move forward, let's go over division and one. If you divide a number by one, the quotient is that number. We've already spoken about that. So what if you divide a number by itself? The quotient is one. So if you have, like this example, six over six, we understand that equals one. So what if you had another example, like six over six times five? The six over six is just another way to express one. So that goes back to our original definition. If you multiply a number by one, the product is that number. Now let's review. The identity property is made up of two parts, the additive and the multiplicative identity property. We understand that add zero to a number, the sum is that number, and we have the example below. We understand if you subtract zero from a number, the difference will be that number, so that's the additive identity for both of those. The multiplicative identity, if you multiply a number by one, the product is that number. We have the example below. If you divide a number by one, the quotient is that number, so that's the multiplicative identity. One quick point to make, six divided by six, we know equals one, but you can also see it as six over six, which equals one. And as you see this example we made before, the six over six can also be seen as just having the number one, which goes back to our original multiplicative identity, which states if you multiply a number by one, the product is that number. You will use all the definitions in this video to solve algebraic expressions in the future.